to your Ghana's number one automotive channel and we are able to bring you updates on car anytime any day around the world the continent and the globally so this is the car that a client brought it it has a difficult start early in the morning when you start up in the morning it goes off second time it goes off then third time the power stays on so i'm starting okay it has been start and after you start it in the morning you may not able to experience this again that means it comes once in the morning and that is all so we are going to tackle it but my advice to you never lock the vvti sprocket in your life as a professional technician always change it to get the better result if you don't change it and you lock it there is always this code will pending and it will worry you and the customer so guys look at the sound hear the sound of this car <laughs> it's not good at all it's more than this air car I'm driving to shop and solve this problem and it will be nice. This is the problem of the BVTI. It has worn out, roll inside. This gives a lot of excessive noise. Okay, so let me just put a diagnosis machine and check the error code so that we can able to tackle it so you can see the check engine is on let me plug my mini obd2 scanner and see what is the error code it's normally comes with the p0014 but this time around let me see the exact code because this uh i mean fault is very i mean different from other Code. So there are two code you can see P012. I tell you, we are focusing on the cam shaft. Uh, positioning timing over retarded bank one the knock sensor is not part of it so guys if you are not familiar with the code you can see it, it is auto not all the time that will give you p 14 but p 14 is also related to this fault as people have experienced it before and this is toyota the uh, matrix to attack and we all to attack us i think this is the related code so me i'm suspecting the vvti is a fault and also the timing chain adjuster will be replaced because it's very quite i mean noisy so we have to replace the timing chain adjuster and then replace the vvti to get sound engine and the quick start because of this uh, fault we are now checking the VVTI. So let me quickly remove the VAC cover. As you can see, I don't want this video to be long. That is why I've been speeding up uh, a bit so that you guys can watch it because it is quite and related to fault solving. So I don't want it to be long to, I mean, uh, waste my time. So let's remove the VAC cover and see what is inside the so that we can able to tackle it uh, so it will soon be removed and uh, once we remove it this is there there we go uh, so i'm removing the a comes out and see whether the sprocket is making noise or not so that we can able to change it but i'll tell you if it is for to just replace it you can see <laughs> so 
so it is very noisy and this is the problem so we have quickly changed it including the adjuster the adjuster too is not good make sure to check the adjuster if it is not good change it with the sprocket that's the vvti vvti symptom is variable valve timing and intelligence in most advanced cars these are the things for high revolution and also low for efficiency so you are just boxing it back then start the car and check whether the fault has been solved or not but i trust my abilities and know what exactly i'm doing that this fault has already been solved already so guys if you are watching this video make sure to subscribe like the video and comment also share to reach out many people and i can see that most often you watch my videos on maybe uh, google says so you cannot able to get access to like the video and comment once you finish watching a google search click into the main youtube videos come and like it and comment because we also i mean give a feedback we like your comment to i mean do better videos in the future and that is all so we are about to start oh God. Before and after. Excellent work. This is the masterpiece of work, and here is the helicopter center, the home of, I mean, engines, tunnels, uh, I mean, the hard works are. I mean, always and uh, brought to this center to proper diagnosis and done, and we have done, I mean, hundreds of works for this particular fault. I tell you, a lot of people have this problem, but to solve it is the problem. So if you if you are watching this video and you are have a problem like this, bring it to a recovery center and to get. Okay, so let's be call out and diagnose it again whether the code is there or not. So you can see it is only one code that is there, which is the P0327. The I mean knock sensor, and because of that, the check light is, in, is still on, but never mind that is not why we are here we are focusing on the engine startup the noise and the sound that is the more important thing we later work on that it's just a simple thing and 